Well, the whole one of the main purposes of this temple is to preserve that Buddhism and secular and cultural life mm -hmm. of Buddhism mm -hmm. in Tibet. Mm -hmm. And these dolls represent secular and uh, religious life before China invaded Tibet in 19, and they, the Dalai Lama and a host of monks left, which was 1959. Mm -hmm. A lot of these customs and dances are actually outlawed by the Chinese. Precepts, precepts for a lay person. If a lay person wants to take refuge, uh, refuge meaning uh, taking refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. The Sangha is the mm -hmm. uh, spiritual community. Uh, of course, the most important is the, taking refuge in the Dharma. About four inches above the crown of my head is a lotus flower. In the center of the lotus is a white moon disk, and seated on the moon disk is my root guru, the Dharmakaya, essence of all the Buddhas, in the form of the medicine Buddha. He is blue in color, and his body radiates blue light. His right hand, in the mudra of granting sublime realizations, rests on his right knee and holds the stem of the aurora plant between thumb and first finger. His left hand is in the mudra of concentration and holds a lapis lazuli bowl filled with nectar. He is seated in the full vajra position and is wearing the three red robes of a monk. He has all the signs and qualities of a Buddha.
So, what did you guys think? I think I was amazing. Mm -hmm. So, um, so open, you know, like something new to learn how how this is gonna go, and I think mm -hmm. um, it, it just gave me something, some new point of view, how to look uh, other religion, other planet. Yeah. And I really like the part like meditation and. and Mm -hmm. I uh, used to do yoga, and it's just yeah. what I did, and, and now it's more like I'm even more interested in I really? everything. Yeah. It's just so, you know, whole style on it, so amazing. I'm really uh, positively touched by everything. Yeah. The, there's like a meta meditation where you like connect more with humanity, and uh, I feel like, it's like in my heart, and the chest gets really tight, and I actually find it kind of a struggle to open up and show that compassion because because you've had certain life experiences, or you know, you want to have compassion for a certain being, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's hard, you know. But still, you feel that connection mm -hmm. at least. So I so think because you. What's your the, uh, the most positive experience so far? Um, Probably at the end, finally when we got into actually visualizing it, um, that kind of that struggle and a little hesitation in my chest and my heart to open up kind of subsided because I could really feel, like he said, visualizing the light and then everything, like all the boundaries, even the human body, it all kind of just melted away mm -hmm. and there really was a connection and then there was no reason not to feel compassion or love or connection. That's great that you were able to experience it, you know, because it's just very difficult to sometimes with it all is. our thoughts, yeah. you know, to, to go over and, you know, to let yourself to open let, to that. Yeah. let it go. Yeah, but I think definitely in the end, like, there was even certain points, and even when the monk first walked in, when he was doing, you know, kind of the prayers to us, and, um, like there was a part, like a time when I could just like feel the love, and something inside my heart, it's like somebody tugged at a heartstring, you know, you could actually feel the compassion being directed mm -hmm. towards you. So, I mean, it's a beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. So, what did you think of the service? I thought it was interesting. Um, I've never been to I mean, I figured that most of it would be a lot of meditating and, you know, someone talking throughout the meditation. Um, so, so it's like what you expected, pretty much. Basically. Yeah. Um, is there anything you didn't really like about it? It was very long. Uh, and yeah. empty thoughts. So, no. How did you feel about the experience? Um, it was, it was cool. It was, uh... I'm going to be honest, it was exactly what I expected it to be. I wasn't really surprised. Um, I enjoyed it. Like, I, I liked the meditation and everything. Um, it, it was very mentally clearing, I guess, and calming. And like the, the whole thing about um, good energy to all sentient life, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I appreciate I genuinely appreciate that it, it seems to be all about um, you, the individual, and everyone else sending just good energy to other people and other other life, and not just people, animals. Um, I liked it. Um, the meditating part is really difficult for me, however, because, which I haven't just meditated there, I actually done that for a class before, but, um, for me, I always found it difficult to, um, you know, clear my mind completely because I'm always thinking about something all the time. Yeah. So, um, for me, I guess I would just add that that's difficult for me to do, and especially for long periods of time. What are the benefits for someone practicing Buddhism? Well, I think there are multiple benefits for it. Uh, there's obviously the physical benefit. Um, regulating the breathing can help. I mean, I found it because I have asthma myself. Um, so when I have meditated, it's helped even with um, even with that. It's helped clear that up. Um, there's spiritual uh, improvement with it. I think you feel more connected 
with people, which helps in day-to-day -day living and communications, um, emotional benefits, which is nice once you start meditating and kind of clear the space in yourself and in your being. Um, you don't get as stressed, you don't get as nervous or anxious or anything like that. Um, and that also plays into the mental improvements. Awesome.